Hey, it's exploring door in here. I'm out uh, late night here. It's I don't know, about 10, no, <laughs> it's about 2.30 a.m. And I'm just out riding my bike. And uh, I'm thinking, I'm gonna go over to this geocache here. It's called Newbie Tip Number Four here in Temecula, California. So I'm gonna head over there and then we'll uh, read the clue and see if we can't find it. Just stopped here to go to the bathroom down this secret little spot here there's like this ravine down here in my neighborhood this is trees and woods i never explored down in here really I, I think i should might be some secret forts or some some cool stuff i don't know I, I think it's just uh drainage and smells bad but there's a pond at the southern at the uh, western edge the down slope side of it which stinks pretty bad but it looks Pretty. I like walking along it because I just like the reflections of the lights. And it's just, I don't know, it's nice to be near water, especially when it's like a long, hot day. It's October 8th, like I said, but it was 96 degrees today, something like that here in SoCal. So uh, wait till night uh, and the cool of the night to go out and ride. So, all right, uh, I'm going to roll on along and uh, check in at the side of the cache next. All right, heading down the horse trail here, along the road. All right, here is the light pole. So it's wood and there's some sort of crack. Hopefully it's not up too high. Pull is tall. All right, I'm gonna park my bike and then look for it. All right, let me go out of the pole, check it out. I see a crack right here. No, it's not a crack. Look at these little things. <clears throat> There's a big crack right there. There's a big crack. This is the bigger, oh, this one's even bigger. Oh wow, look at this crack. Holy jeez, this crack is huge. This looks unsafe, this crack. It's gotta be in here, right? Well, this crack was pretty big too. There it is. Boom. Ooh. Don't mind. I need something to retrieve it. I can't quite get it, but there it is. Okay, that was a fun one. That was pretty cool. There's always this moment, or there's always this moment, or several moments, or or when just when you're not finding it, sometimes it just feels absolutely impossible. You're never gonna find it, and then all of a sudden you find it. It's such such a weird feeling to go from that like the anxiety's building you're looking at it you're like oh, i don't know if i'm gonna be able to find it i don't know if i'm gonna be able to find it and then you find it and it's all of a sudden it's like oh and you're like oh that was easy <laughs> i don't know what it is it's always exciting um let's see what kind of tool i have here to get this thing out uh, use my knife, I guess. All right, so here we are, movie tip four. Let's check out the description. Have you ever looked for a geocache with the coordinates taken to a light or telephone pole? We were dumbfounded the first couple of times that we came upon this type of cache, but we have since learned that there are several very clever types of hides in these poles. This hide is really the simplest type of hide if you're looking for a duct tape. Oh, you're looking for a duct tape envelope, which is slipped in a crack in the telephone pole. 
The most difficult aspect of this hide is trying not to look too suspicious of your search for the cash. I'd suggest depending your reason yourself on that. Yes, uh, Chris and I were looking a little too suspicious when the cops rolled up on us at like 2 in the morning the other day when I was crawling around in the bushes. Uh, when you remove the cash and return it to its hiding spot, please be careful that you don't push the envelope in so far that it becomes impossible to retrieve. You now know where to look, so go get it. There's parking on the cross street. All right. So it's just a couple feet over here. Pole. Let's go find it. Here's the old Gary Fisher e-bike machine. Um, technically, like an extremely fast and aerodynamic frame design actually as far as a frame design it's pretty crazy it's got to be just ridiculously fast in the wind tunnel this thing um suspension wise it sure has its issues um it's a super duper short wheelbase too which is kind of interesting but it's light and fast it's very nimble and agile it turns really quick um <laughs> yeah, baby. Let's take it over here so we don't look suspicious. Mm. Well, I hope I didn't cut through. Uh, I was trying to be careful. Um, let me open it up. I still not have my pen on me? Oh my gosh. I missed out on signing so many of these. Let's see who was here recently. Oh, someone was here on 919. That's it. Oh, that's a big log. Man. Okay, I need a. How did I not bring a pen? Well, anyway, it's very cool. I'm gonna put it back, I guess, in the same spot. Oh gosh. Perfect. Oh, I think that's where it's supposed to be. Nice. That is perfect. Okay. Sweet. All right. That was a fun, 
Very cool, very cool little hide. I I'm, <laughs> I'm constantly amazed by the ingenuity of these little geocaches. You're like, oh, it's another telephone pole, but, or, well, I haven't done any telephone poles really, but, um, oh, it's another booger box, because we did like four or five of them last night, but there was always, not always, but, um, there's unique little hiding places, I don't know, it's, it's fun. <laughs> Alright, I guess maybe I'll find another one, that was pretty cool. Uh... God, I wish I had my pen to sign. Uh, anyways, uh, let me think about what I'm gonna do. It says this was uh, find number 10 for me. All right, so I'm gonna go over to uh, newbie tip five, it says. It's over by this shopping center. The description is the street sign pole hide. This is another common, pretty simple, straightforward type of hide. Have you noticed that many street sign poles have holes in them? Personally, I think they're just crying out for a geocache to fill one of those babies. <laughs> There's plenty of parking here, but you'll notice it's a very high muggle area. So please use extreme stealth. What's a muggle you ask? Good question. <clears throat> a muggle is anyone who is not in who is not in on the secret of geocaching and just a warning, they seem to have a propensity for taking muggling geocaches when they find them. Always bring your own writing something when geocaching. It's gonna be some hole in that that pole up there, so let's go. We'll navigate to it. It's uh point two of a mile. Oh, jeez, did I not go up the ramp there? That was quite a hit, <laughs> and that jarred me uh, with one, dry, riding one-handed here. here. I see it. It's right up there. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, see, that's one of those moments I'm talking about. I was like, 
what? I'm never gonna find this. Where is it? There it is. Uh, should I grab it or leave it as is? Unfortunately, I don't have a pen to sign it. Urgh. <laughs> All right. Uh, I thought the CVS over here might be open, but it's not. I was going to get a pen. Um, but I guess I'll have to come back and sign this another day. So what I'm noticing, at least in the city here, is a lot of these caches are just micro ones. Very, very tiny. So, cool. I haven't found like a interesting one. I'm expecting to find one with like, like snacks in it. Or like, I don't know. <laughs> Candy, I don't know. <laughs>